to the seventh tutorial to a beginner's guide on how to Enscape. Now, we will be covering view management this time. You can either start with the Enscape window itself or you can do a split window with your CAD software or Revit if you want. After that, you can do so by clicking the icon over here which says view management or by pressing F. Here, you will see a new pop-up window, which is called the view management. Now, you might see a bunch of views available already. Now, this depends on the 3D view from your CAD, as seen way over here in the property browser, and look at both of them, they are the same. Selecting this would automatically move your view in a fast yet smooth transition. I'll start with the endscape itself. Okay, so I'll go ahead and start with the 3D top view. Now, notice how the time changes to 10 a.m. in every view I click. We will tackle more into that later. For now, I'm showing you how the smooth transition comes with the 3D view I've made in Revit that has reflected here in Enscape. Next, we can also do our own view by clicking this button right here. Now, you will notice an Enscape view creation is in progress. This will not go away unless we finish with create. Let's start with a CAD view name. Of course, you can choose whatever name that you want. I'm going to do with Enscape first trial. We don't need to play around with this. Of course, the camera position, it can be done with either this area. As you see, it moves. Or you can play around it with yourself with the orientation or the positioning. No need to explain further. Next is the sun position. Azimuth controls the rotation of the sun like so. You can control it here, as you see, from the render itself, or play around here, like changing it to 120 degrees, or let's make it 350 to a maximum of 360. Making this to 361 will show an error. So let's go back to 120 degree. Next is the altitude. Altitude controls the time of the day. So if I were to go here, you will notice that the sun is targeting towards the up, and here it's night time. So you can play around with either negative 90 degrees to zero to positive 90 degrees. Any more than that will show an error like it did with azimuth. All right, okay. So now let's go ahead and type in our CAD view name. Then we do create. Now notice the first view create that we did earlier also reflects here in Revit. And if I were to double click this, as already seen here, it already shows an example of the screenshot snip that we did earlier. Let me do one quick thing and do a create view here and create as well. Now, you'll notice the Enscape Pretty View 1 immediately reflects here. And if I were to double click this, this is what's going to happen. Also, if I were to delete all the views here like so, it reflects to Enscape as well. And that's it for this video. For questions and suggestions, please do comment below. And if you find this tutorial helpful, do support me by liking and subscribing. I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much, guys.